Yeah, six stacks. Okay. Okay, so we're in Perik Lamentech, the Pasha Sayesha. So we're up to Pasuk Beis. Spoke about the first half of Pasuk Beis last week, so we're going to go straight to the second half. Vayhi Hashem es Yisrael, Vayhi Hashem Tzliach, Vayhi Bives Adino Hamitzu. So what does that even mean, first of all? What does he mean? He was in the house of his Mitzri master. What information is that? So the point is, it's Pashit. It means he was in charge of his household. He got a position in his household. He, just because he's bought as a slave doesn't mean he has to be in the vice. He could have been in the Sadr. If the Sadr figures in, in Pasuk hey, where there's a Birchus Hashem and everything that the Mitzri has, the bias Uba Sadr. But it's, it's an important, it's notable, and it's meaningful, and it has some information that Yosef got it, was, Yosef's job was in the bias. Okay, fine. The word hamitri, however, it seems to be superfluous. He be based on the hamitri. We know who his master was, hamitri, from Pasagat. Okay, so firstly, let's understand the significance of bias. Why is it important that, it was in the, that his job was in the bias? And then we'll get to the mitzri. So the first point of the fact that he, he had a job in the bias, first thing is that the next post of Bayad, I know, his master was able to see his success because he was close to his master and therefore he gave him a certain position. But besides for that, besides for that, the whole bias theme is a recurring theme in the Pasha. But you count the word bias in the Pasha. Let's count. He was the base of the Hamitsu. Pasuk Dalit, he was on top of the Yachideu al Beisai. Next Pasuk, the Beisai. Beis Hamitri and Babais, three times in Pasuk Hay. And then in Pasuk Ches, Babais, Pasuk Ches, Babais. Pasuk Yir Aleph, we have the Habaisa, the English Anche Habaias, Shom Babais, so up to ten. Pasuk Yir Aleph, we call Anche Beisa. And Pasuk. 11. Pasuk Chav. Beis Hasoya. Beis Hasoya. Pasuk Chav Aleph. Beis Hasoya. Pasuk Chav Beis. Beis Hasoya. And then again Beis Hasoya. And then another Beis Hasoya. Pasuk Chav Beis. I think that brings us to 17. Is that so what I'm counting? The Beis Hasoya is, is referring to a totally a different. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Just, bias. just look. Just pointing out that you have this word that just. Uh-huh. The first time it says that it seems to be, like, you know almost insignificant, what the point is. But then it turns out that this whole theme about the bias, yes, and then shifts to the base of Sarah, correct. But the truth is like this. So, so there's a basic, and, and by the way, and then, like I mentioned earlier, you have a Pasuk, hey, that, oh, oh, okay, that's interesting. We really have to get there and figure out what that means. But, the, but there's a theme over here that Yosef is in the bias, and then, oh, the blessing extends to the Sadr too somehow, or whatever that, why is that important? Because everything actually takes place in the bias, right? Because the bias becomes a place of tension, because that's where he has the thing with the wife, with the woman, and no one else is in the bias. Okay, which is important. Does bias mean the house, or does it also mean the wife? Okay, interesting, right? Right, the bias is in the, is the wife. Now, the truth is like this: just just as a bias thing, Yosef has he's in the bias based on mystery, and then he's in the base of Sayar. Eventually, he gets. Power and base para, right? And then there's the whole thing about base Yosef. They come from base Yosef. And para, Shalom Akalaf, means. Means the great house. Right. In Egyptian. Yes. <laughs> These are Egyptologists. <laughs> no, para means. Para is like the White House, right? Right. That's, it's like the expression, the, the pharaoh. Pharaoh. house, the pharaoh. Yeah, it, yeah. No, no. The word actually means word actually the, house. Right. the house. Right, right, the palace. So anyways, but, but just thematically, so Yosef is in a certain bias, or random mitzri, okay, maybe not so random, and then there's a whole problem in that bias, because the woman who's in the bias, when no one else is in the bias, but the woman is still there, because the woman is like associated with the bias, and she's always there. And then, right, I think that's is related General, to that. General, yes, but in yeah. this context, she, she deliberately stayed behind. Okay. Okay, and then he moves to the base of Sayar, and then he gets out of there, and he gets in the base power, and then the base Yosef becomes a... a, a a place to be, right? Not everyone who has a house can go to base Schneider, but base Yosef is because Yosef was a powerful person, second to power. 
take them to the main mm-hmm. palace or see the power. Okay, so there's a whole bias theme here. But I want to say something about, back to the Mitzri question, why is the Pesach say Mitzri? I think there's a significance that it was a Mitzri house. Okay? And for this, we're going to shift over here to take a look at Mishle Perik Zion. <laughs> Mishle Perik Zion. Mishle Perik Zion. Like Mishle Perik Hay. Um, okay, Mishle Perik Hay and Perik Zion. We're going to look at Perik Zion here. But both of these problems sim- are similar in that they warned the sun. Mishle starts, Mishle Shana ben David, and talks about um, hearing the Musa of father, not the Musa of Yichas, Mishle Shana ben David. It's like the, it's like the Musa you give to a child, to a youth. And in Perak and Perak Zayin, there's a lot. You sometimes say Beni. And in Perak Vav, what? You don't sometimes say Beni. Right, right. It keeps on saying Beni, 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 because it's like Musa of educational Musa that one would give to a youth. And I believe that's why, by the way, the Sefer starts with Mishle Shana ben David, as opposed to Shir Ashriyam, because he says, Ben David, because it's a, it's Shlomo giving over the, the teachings that a, a son should get from his father, and he's like passing it over. So, so in Pasuk, in Perak Zion, there's a whole uh, graphic and detailed warning to the son to stay away from the Isha Zara, from the Isha Zara. Okay, and then there's a very detailed, like it's a very graphic <coughs> description of the seduction of the Isha Zara. So let's read some sukkim here uh, from Pasuk K. He says, I look out the window and I see, I'm sorry, Pasuk Vav. This is something that the father is saying. I look out my window and I see foolish people who trap, who, who cross her corner in the market, Beth Besa Yitzha, and pass by her house. Towards evening and a woman comes out and she doesn't, Bebesa Loyishkin Ragla, she doesn't stay home. She goes outside and goes to each corner and she lays in ambush. And she grabs him and she kisses him and she says to him, Oh, today I, I prepared some zvachim. I'm coming out to you. I, 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 I set the bed with chatuvos eitun mitzrayim. I don't know exactly what that means. Some sort of silk Egyptian linen or something like that. Okay, some fancy Egyptian linen. And I put um, perfumes on the bed. So this is the seduction of the woman. And look at Pasuk Yates. Ke'en ha'ish bevesai halach b'derech me'rochai. The man is not home, which you'll recognize from our parsha. Ain ish man shehabayis, right? That's the the, the ish, ish who seduces the youth because the man is not home; he's far away, and and the youth goes like like um like a sheep to like a like a bull going to the slaughter to find, and he doesn't realize that it's that it's going to destroy him. So children, listen to me and and don't don't wander in those in those ways. Fine. And the parak ends. Darch ish al beisa. The, the, her bias is like the path to the to, to her house. Okay, so so what do we see over here? Okay, so the, the, the isha who the isha who is um, seduces the youth talks about Mitzrayim. Okay, this eight Mitzrayim. She has the linen of Mitzrayim. She says nobody's home. These two things obviously uh, remind us of our parsha, the isha in the in the base of Mitzri, and and um, saying nobody's home. And there you notice also in Mishlei, he keeps on repeating the bias. And the bias at an end, Darkish or Besa. So I would suggest that, that that's the significance of Besa Adarif Hamitsu because the Pasik is telling you, okay, here's a certain kind of bias. This scene is taking place in a house of a Mitsri. Saying, okay, there's different Batim, and the Besa Hamitsri has the Isha Manaches. As you know, the Torah does not have a, a, a good view, a positive view of the, the Mitsri. Moral values. Right. So here's this is a base mitzri. Okay, here's the description of base mitzri. The isha is going to do a, a mitzri kind of thing, and that's the kind of bias that that the youth has to be warned to um, to avoid, as it were, or to avoid the isha. Then. Okay. So now, uh, more on that in Mishlei. Let's go to Perek Chav Test. Perek Chav Test Pasuk Gimel. Says the following: Ish oyev chokhmo yisamach avil. The roy azoynes yabet honey. Mishlei chok test gimel says a man who loves chokhmo will will glad and make his father happy. While the man who's roy azoynes will lose the wealth. So it's contrasting the, the one who's oyev chokhmo. He's the one who's going to to delight his father and the roy azoynes. So we spoke about this in the past. I'm not going to go back into this, but 
These prakim we showed, should have been here for the last four years, you would know, that these prakim, actually starting from Toldis, right? Started in Toldis. So Toldis, the Yitzhak, the Yishlach, the Yishlach. As soon as we get the Yaakov and As soon as we get Yaakov and Right, right. These prakim are constantly referring back to, to the stories of Yaakov and Esav, the Pukim of Mishle, and Mamsh goes in order. Most of the time, sometimes it jumps around. Here it's up to basically Yehuda's story about last, we spoke about Yehuda and Tamar, and now Yosef. And, okay, so Yosef is the, is, the, is the wise son who's going to make his father happy. And it's very important. Because, just ask, yeah, say, for sure. What, what does it mean that it's like parallel to... Oh, what it means is like this. In, in a simple way. Wrote a, like, yeah, yeah, I think he wrote like, it as a pirish on, on the tire. I think it's really? one way to look at it. The Gemara Tanya says there's nothing in the Zimut Sum that's not alluded to in the tire. Alluded. Yeah, but that means is you could turn that around and say that means that the Zimut Sum are really essentially just explicating the tire, right? Which is what Chazal doing the Madrashim all the time. And that's, mm. that's what's in the Madrash. saying, okay, this Pasuk is like that Pasuk. Because they understand that, that the inspiration... Or inspiration, whatever. Inspiration when the Vim of is rooted in the Torah. And it's like a Pirish. A lot of times you can see Kamamish find that it's a Pirish. But yeah, in this case, I would say it's like it's like he's he's telling you, like, okay, here you have something in the Torah. Uh, let's lessons, have, let's say, let's at least there are lessons and themes. Exactly, the lessons and themes. Same way. Yeah, but it's not like parallel. Like, he's Khajmaning, I'm doing Vayeshev now. And yeah, because look, look, the same way, look, same, very simple thing. Let's say you have, let, it's really not as complicated. It's not as. It's in some ways, it's very fascinating and it gets very complicated and deep, but in some ways, it's very simple. Let's say you have a, 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 a dachshin, right? Or a bumus, or whatever he wants to do with animals. It's a person about yes. If you look at this youth, he, 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 when, and we'll see, I'm going to talk about certain things now, I'll show you the points, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the ideas now before we see the story. Originally, he had some issues, he said Lashon Har about his brothers, and he wasn't such a good son, he had problems, but then. You see how he, he was tried and he grew up and he grew into being worthy of being a king. That's a push to Zachem, but that's in reading Vayeshev. That's a push to reading Vayeshev, right? It's clearly there. So, and these are themes in Mishle. That the good son, the bad son, and the good son is the one who avoids his lightness, and the bad son is the one who says Diba. That's what we want to show you soon. And yes, it was originally went to Diba, and then he became the Ben Chacham. And by the way, he became Ben Chacham because Paris said, in Chacham, and Avon Kamoifo, and he said, oh, now he's the Chacham. So it's like a, it's like a secret. So the same way anyone... Shlomo Melch also saw and 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 developed those themes, and sometimes it's obvious because he picks up the same words, and sometimes it's obvious because yeah, it's actually going in order. So it's a theory. I don't know. It's a theory for these Brachim and Mishle. These Brachim and Mishle were actually set up as being, uh, you know, Shlomo's notes on on top of this. I don't know, right? Conceptually, it makes a lot of sense. If you, if you have a work of Chachma, that this is our Chachma that was passed down. This is the Chachma of Hashem. Exactly. That's where you get everything from. Yeah, I mean, Yeshaya and Navi also learned Voracious, right? So we learned Voracious and Yeshaya. Well, we were supposed to learn Yeshaya anyway. But we learned Voracious and Yeshaya. Yeshaya learned Voracious. And Shlema learned Voracious. But you're not going to say like uh, Megillus Esther was like parallel to anything. It certainly is. It certainly is. <laughs> Very much. Well, you got, you got to learn. There's lots to learn. There's all the Shreem right there. But, uh, Zilgamar. But? Zilgamar. Zilgamar, exactly. but it's much easier to say about Mishle where yeah. it's just lessons. It's not, this is a story that happened. There is exactly. no story. Right. Yeah. It, it, you know, you're saying Esther is a history. So like, what do you mean? It actually happened. Right. True. That, that, that's true. It actually happened. But it's not true that it's not also very <laughs> literary and very ideas, etc. But what happens also matches, matches, okay. matches okay. that as well. Because history is not Exactly. History repeats just, itself. It's not especially random. in the Torah. It's yeah. history. It certainly repeats itself. It's certainly not random. Something that has to be played out. Not everything that happened is in, is in our books. This mm -hmm. is a significant story. This is a godly story. Godly stories are probably continuing. I don't say probably, but it's actually like that. Continuing godly themes that are set out in the Torah. So yes, Esther is also true. But as Shalom said, of course, in Mishle, where he's actually just telling you Chachma, is that to find, to say that that Chachma is in the Torah, and like Chazal say, <clears throat> and to say that Shalom was very conscious of that and is actually alluding to that, it's not really much. Okay, so here I'm going to show you like this. So, okay, so, 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 he says it in the beginning. What? He says it in the very beginning. That what? That, he, that, that the Chach was in the Torah. Who is that? Al Tashta, 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 Okay, but does that mean, does that mean, I don't know. Torah can mean an instruction. Okay, but. Right? Beneath Torah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, so the word Torah is there. To say that that means, Kamisha Kosha Torah, you need basic Sure. So here I want to show you what the point I was just saying. Let me show you this token. Go back to Perak Yud and Mishlein. And there we're going to see, I want to show you three Pesukim there. 
and that, that basically bring up this point how <coughs> Yosef, in, in our story, he becomes the Ben Chacham. He used to not be a Ben Chacham. So it starts correctly with Pascal, Ben Chacham is son of Al, Uzein Kassil, Tugasima. So there's the wise son and there's the foolish son. Okay, that's in, in Perik Yud Pasuk Aleph. And what's the foolish son? So if you look later in the Perik in Pasuk Yud Ches, in Perik Yud Pasuk Yud Ches, it says, it says, Mo'itzi di bahu chsel. Mo'itzi di bahu chsel. So by Yavah Yosef has di ba son. Okay, he's the ben chsel. And he's a problem child in some ways. And he's, he's not going to like his father. He's not going to give nachas and live up to what his father expects from him, which is to become a king, that's a dream, until he turns into a ben chacham, <coughs> until he turns into a ben chacham, then he's going to be misameh of it. Okay, and, and as we said in, in, in the last part that we were talking about, the, the, uh, the ish oiv chachma is misameh of it, and he's not where his son is. So Yosef's standing up to this temptation is his growing into a, a, a wise son. The wise son. If you look for a bit in Perek Yudir, and Pasuk of Beis, it says, Birbas Hashem ki ta'ashir v'lo yosif etzev ima. The Birbas Hashem makes wealth and there's no etzev. We'll get back to this passage later, but what it means is there's, there's etzev involved in, in Parnassa, the Yitzhak and Zechalana. And if you have the Birbas Hashem, then you have wealth without etzev, without stress, without anxiety and suffering. Um, yosif got the Birbas Hashem, and it says in our paragraph that the Birch Hashem was in Beis HaMitzri, and, the, and his master saw the Birch Hashem, etc. Okay. So, so basically, um, Yosef becomes the Ben Chacham, and as I mentioned before, Perakei and Perak Zayin are the message to the son how to become Ben Chacham. Both of them are to avoid the Isha Zara. So in Perakei begins, Beni L'chachmasi HaKshiva, here is the Chachma that the son has to have, which is to avoid the Isha Zara. That's Perkei Ayn Sham. And Perk Zayin too, he says, listen to my mitzvahs. Um, Pasuk Dalit, Perk Zayin, Pasuk Dalit. Embrace Chachma, tell Chachma she's your sister, you're, you're my sister, meaning be friendly with Chachma like a sister, to, and that will protect you from the Isha Zara. So the son, to grow into Chachma, he's going, when he grows into Chachma, he's going to be protected from the Isha Zara. Okay. I want to show you one other pasuk here, which we also spoke about in the past. This is the Chav Zayin in Mishlei. It's also about the son becoming wise, and also has connects to yes. Perk Chav Zayin, pasuk Yud Aleph. There it says like this: Chacham Beni v'Samach Libi. Become wise, my son, and then delight my heart. The Ashiva Kharfi Dabar, and I'll be able to respond to those who, who disgrace me, I'll be able to respond, tell them something back. So when the son becomes wise, he's, he makes his father happy, and then his father has something to respond to those who disgrace him. And then the Pasuk talks about the wise, wily person who avoids evil, while fools pass by and, and, and get punished. Take his clothing, ki arav zor, v'ad nachri yachav lehi. What does that do with Yosef? I'm going to show you how it's doing with Yosef. Because Yosef lost his clothing because of the nachri, she took his clothing. And um, he but stu- withstood temptation, and therefore he was misameach of his father, which we all know, because I'll talk about, you know, Yaakov coming, Yosef seeing a vision of Yaakov, which means there's a major simcha, a connection to Yaakov in our story. And as we see initially, that the good son, he's the one, oh, now the father's proud of him. So that's his motivation. Mm-hmm. Right, to make his father proud. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. So we really see that in Mishle, because that's what it's about. It's like, okay, you have to make, make your father proud. You have to be a good son, and, and he's a his father. And here at this Pasuk, the first one there, in Chavzayin um, Yud Aleph, it says, Vashiva Kharfi Dabar, I'll be able to respond to Dabar. So that comes back in the beginning of Ayeshev, where Yosef, Yaakov sends away Yosef to Shechem, and he says, Hine Achecha Royim B'Shechem, Lecha B'Shlach Lecha Alehem. That's not the wrong Sends you off to Shem. Where do we see that? In so just a second, one second, one second. Just let me tell you this thing, right? Okay, it doesn't left on a message, a message to bring back the Dover to Yerakov, which is very, very significant. We spoke about this a lot. What that Dover means. But there's a whole Dover theme. And he sends off Yosef to bring back the Dover. 
Yosef never brought him back to the Dover. The Dover is that Yosef is going to be king. Because the Abba Shammai has had Dover, which is that Yosef had a dream that he's going to be king, and he sends it to Shechem to bring back the Dover, which would have meant to bring back the message that Yosef is becoming king. Yaakov can only be Meshiv Kharfi Dover. In other words, Yaakov is in Kharfa. Why? Because he expects these great things from Yosef, and then it doesn't pan out. And he's waiting for 22 years, right? 22 years? Is that right? Yeah. No. You're right, right. Okay, right. So, so Chacham beni the That Rashi ben Dover is waiting for the son to become wise and make his father happy, and that's when he can make him wise to be king. Okay, go. Where do we see that to make his father proud? Where, where, where do we see what? That like Yosef's like whole chesed. No, only well, in, in the Chazal that say that his father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was like a reason to just like stop him. Right. Dad, so. Yeah, but what that means is that that's really what is what, what, what he's concerned with. Like, what, what, what's my father going to think? This is not appropriate for my father, right? Isn't that what it means? What? It does, right? Why is his father paying? What does it mean his father paying? It means, it means that's what's really, that's what really was, 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 was his motivation, was, mm-hmm. oh, my father, I can't do this for my father. So that's, I think, what, and perhaps that's you could say, because I'll get some Mishle, because yeah. I'll get some Mishle, yeah. where you see that the Ben Chacham is, is yeah. he has to learn how to, how to make his father happy. And they may not have meant literally he saw a vision of his father. It means that he remembered his father and he therefore... Right, if you remember your father, it's, it just comes you, up in your head, right? Whatever, but, <laughs> no, but that's right. what it means. Right, right. It exactly. means more, not just... It means in a powerful way, right? Yeah. It means, it means, it means he remembered that he, his father he remembered and therefore it, mo- it motivated It was relevant. Him. It was right. relevant to his father. It's as if his father was present. He couldn't right. do it, right? right. That's, that was right. his motivation. That's, right. that's what it means. Yeah, exactly. They're saying something much deeper than people think. It's not this... Simple. What do people think? That they think some, some sort of magical apparition. Holiday. No, it's not an apparition. On the contrary, it's, it, it's more to his credit. Of course. Than if, if it was not an apparition, it's just through yeah. his memory. Yeah, I think we always remember. used to think that like, ya- some like Yaakov like, sort of came there, right? Yeah. It's, it's, Yaakov, it's, Yaakov, it's, it's not. Yaakov, that's not what it means. But it means, I mean, whatever, yeah. Right. It means he remembered. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's right. It means it was a very, a very um, stark remembrance of his father and made him impossible. Made him feel like his father's present. Which means that he realized that what he's doing is going to reflect on his father, and affect his father. And that's what it was in Mishle. It affects the father, because when the son is, is good and wise, the father is, um, gets simple. That's a big theme in Mishle. And, and like they show you, the Pesachim actually mamish tie into the Yosef story. Okay, so let's go back to the Pesachim here. Okay. So that's the bias, that's the base mitzri. Okay, so we saw we did a little survey of Mishle there, and we see that the, the, the boy has to avoid the woman who's actually has the mitzri linen on her bed, etc., and then he says no one's home, just like picking up the marash. So that's I, perhaps the shot in the word ha mitzri in Pasuk base. Let's go to Pasuk Gimel. Vaya Adonov ki Hashem itoi. Okay, so he saw it, because Pasuk base says he was in the bias, so of course the master could see what Pasuk base says, that Hashem was with Yosef. V'chol hu asher hu aseh Hashem ha-matziah b'yodoi, because Yosef is a rish matziah. So he sees the Hatzal, he sees what, what's, what's described as a fact. In Pasuk Beis, the Mitzri notices. Here the Pasuk says the word biyadai, Masliach biyadai, which is picked up later because it says in Pasuk Vav, Ayazav Kalashaloi, biyad Yosef. Okay, so Yosef's hands. Which, by the way, Agav, more hands going on later because he leaves his hands, he leaves his clothing with her hands, but I don't know if that's just the point of it. <clears throat> okay, Vayimza Yosef Chain Be'enov Vayishoyes Yosef. Okay, so now Yosef finds Chain. So Chain is a big theme over here in the end of Yosef's story because in the end of the parak par- also he goes to jail, but then right he finds Chain in Pasuk um, Chavav. Hashem is Yosef, Vayta Hashem is with Yosef. Okay, is Chain a, a uh, contrast to Katzaf? To Katzaf? Yeah. How's that? Parai Kotaf Olam and right. the, and and the same thing that Vayikach Adnei Yosef Vayipnei Abes Asayar, which of course Vayichar Apoy. It's the, the opposite of ah. Chayin is the op, is when the opposite master, of anger. Maybe you mean when a master is satisfied, I'm happy. Yeah. I don't know. Chayin is an interesting thing. Yeah. I'm not sure if we, it's, it's, I think it's different than just the opposite of anger. So well, it's maybe it's more different. Right? Yeah, right. different. But there is a contrast in the process. Interesting, right, right, right. Whether you find favor or they get any. Now, right, now, the question is like this. Here's another question you could ask. Here's like, okay, is this a good thing? <laughs> it's a great question. This is a good thing. He finds Chayim. Okay. It works out for him, but it doesn't. It works out, but it doesn't, right? Because yeah. it ends up being a trap, as it were. Right. <clears throat> now, 
which is a very similar thing. We spoke about the fact that the one who becomes the king, Yosef here, as we spoke about this last week, Yosef has this destiny to become a king. To be a king, one has to have Hashem Itai and Masriach. Um, you know, we spoke about that last week. The kids of the Ramam says in the Mavuka that the lowest level of Nevuah, which is not really Nevuah, but it's, it puts it in the level of Nevuah, he says so, is, is that Hashem is with someone, which means that a person is aided to do great things. Okay? And possibly also inspired. Uh, inspired? I don't know. It doesn't, not clear that it is. Not clear that it is. Not clear that it is. In right. fact, he says only big things that are, only yeah. when it's a big thing that has major effects. Do we say Hashem Ita? It sounds like almost like right. it's just a way of describing something. Okay. But but he does put in the levels of Ruch HaKadosh. <coughs> and, and he shows that the, when a person gets Mashiach, when a person becomes a king, they, they, like David, the Pesukim say Hashem is with him, and he's Matziach. So we spoke about the fact that Yosef also, Hashem is with him, and Matziach means now he's ready to be a king. Is he ready or is he not ready? He's sort of ready, but then he has this downfall. And then at the end of the story, he's just be ready. And he's again ready, because I hear Hashem is Yosef. And then, and then he tends to pack and get out of jail. It's going to take two more years. That's another story. Right? But there's an idea of it in the end of the pack. Okay. So, so why does it say Yashem is of him? Why? And why is it here then? No, because everything's great until something goes wrong. But so right now he could be king. Right now he could be king. He could be king. Right? He's ready to roll. And we're waiting for him to figure out to be, be a king. But then there's some sort of problem. Right? I mean, one thing is right. It doesn't mean everything is right. It's always the case. So we'll, we'll get to the chen in a second. I want, I want to suggest that actually you have the same thing in the dub story. In the dub story we spoke about, I'll just I'll read the so you don't have to look at them. We spoke about this last week. Then the dub story, when dub becomes king, so there's a lot of parallels to Yosef's story. He also has to go to his brothers and, and bring back the dubber. <laughs> we write the whole dubber thing, they're going to the dubber. But okay, the point is like this that in the dub story, so I just want, I'll read the so and they talk about Hashem being with him. But they, they praise him to Shaul. Shmuel Aleph, um, Parak Tazayim, Pasuk Yud Ches. They praise him to Shaul, like when Shaul is looking for someone to play music for him. And they praise him by saying, they him? Hashem Imai. He, sorry, Ephraim and Aram, right? Dayek says, Hashem Imai. <coughs> so was that your show? I said, Dayek. Yes. Right? Sorry, not Dayek. No, okay. we know who it was also. Dayek, right? Yes. Right. And the then, one who was used, he was making trouble. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and then Parak Tazayim, Pasuk Yud Ches, it says, <coughs> Shaul was afraid from David because Hashem was with David and when we through Shaul. And David was maskil, the whole drama, maskil and Matziah go together. Because Matziah is still like maskil. And Hashem Imoy. And Shaul saw that he's maskil, Moy, that he's afraid. And Shaul, why did Shaul keep David? Why did Shaul keep David? And the Perak Tazayim in Shmuel. Kimotzachem be'enai. Kimotzachem be'enai. Oh, so David is this charming fellow, and he's Motzachem be'enai Shaul. Which. Um, what? It turned. Ah, a little bit of a problem. It's a little bit of a problem, Chay. I, I, I submit that the double story tells us, and the Yosef story tells us, that Chay just took a double edged sword. <laughs> no? Is that, is that my reading too much? I don't think the Chay that he found with Shaul was the problem. I think the f- problem is that he had too much Chay with the people, and Shaul couldn't handle it after he lost the Ruach Hashem. He couldn't handle right, it. Right, but I think that itself but I guess the, the, point. Fa- the presence of Chay. Yeah, Chay itself. And we don't find that with Pare. Why? Pare doesn't say he had Chay. No, no. It says what you're right. Wise. Yeah. Chayn is a Okay. Right. I think, because Chayn is like a fickle thing, isn't it? Yeah. Shekar Chayn. Okay. Shekar Chayn v'hev alayi fishi as Hashem Yitzchah. Right? Shekar Chayn v'yirtzal Yosef Chayn. A few weeks ago we find out that Yosef is Yifei Toyar. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's a Chayn. And then when he tells his brothers, when he tells his brothers... But you drew that parallel. I know. He tells his brothers that they're afraid that he's going to lock them up, etc. He says, no, it's like Kimani Yare. It's like Kimani Yare. So Shekhar Chayn Nevel Yosef Shias Hashem Yitzal is actually corresponding to Yosef. This is Mamish Eishes Chayel corresponds to Yosef Eishes. The whole thing, okay? From beginning, well, I, I don't have trying to be pasuk, but I have, but like a, a lot got, of them. You got, you got pretty close. Right, right, almost all of them. Mamish goes through Eishes, um, okay? Eishes Chayn Yimtza Uz Laadam Loy Matza Eze Kenegdoi Kumalachim Toiv Veloira Ze Kadash Tevera Kol Yimei Chayeha Kol Yimei Chayeha Darshat Tzema Or Pishtim Kain Hevel the whole thing. 
and and um, and check out the Bavel Yofi. So it's called, it's corresponds to Bereshis. And, and by the way, the reason why it corresponds to Bereshis, I mean the reason why it ends with Yosef. <laughs> Yosef is the is the one who's check out the Bavel Yofi, and but he says oh, I'm, I fear God. Um, what does it actually all mean? I don't know. Let me leave that point. Okay, but yeah. The point is like this. So this story with this chen, and then there's going to be yoifi, and, and we know how that works. We know how that works. Chen and, and yoifi are, are ultimately very fickle because they don't, because they're, they're sheker. So they're attractive, and they could, they, they, could, they could do something, they could get you something, but they could also lead to, to bad things. Okay, so take a look at this passage, also going back to Mishle now. This is also where it should be, you know, it's where where we have these, these correspondence, so to speak. Take a look in Perkhof Tess, Pesach Yud Beis. Pesach Yud Beis. Perkhof Tess, Pesach Yud Beis. Moishel Makshev al Devar Shaker, Kol Meshar Sarvishan. A ruler that pays attention and listens to a falsehood, all his bashar samar shai. Okay. Very good. Sata Bachim listened to the Shekhar and then his wife said it, I guess. So even Moshe was machim al bar Shekhar. And he indicted his Masharis, Yasef, right? Kol Masharis to Bashar. He treated him, I'm asking, because Yasef wasn't a Rashi, but Sata. Yeah. But he treated him as a Russia. He, right? Yosef is a tzaddik. Why is Yosef called a tzaddik? Because, but the lesson here is because he didn't do what he was suspected of doing. Okay. Right. So he treated him as a Russia. He was Moshele Machshel Vashek, and he treated him as a Sharis. Right. That's who we have in this yeah, passage. Yeah, but they lost. But Yosef came by a Sharis. I say because Sheker I came by because Chayin goes along with Sheker. Yeah. Chayin, the next thing you know is going to be a Sheker, mm-hmm. and he's going to believe a Sheker. Right. Because I don't know this Chayin guy. He's very tricky, slippery. He's a slippery. What's the, 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 the expression? Right. Slippery. Whatever. Jack. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a certain thing. Charm is a thing, right? Charm is, yeah. and is also is also uh, it's fickle. false. It's fickle and false, and it's dangerous. Yeah. You don't trust it. Well, you can use it. Right. You can use it to do, to to back up Shaka. That's true. Exactly. Right. But you don't need the pin. The right, lesson right? here is not. The lesson here generally is not not to be charming. The lesson here is not to believe, not to listen to Shaka because then everyone is going to lie to you. Right, and Chayim is the root of it. In other words, well, the fact, like, Yimsi Yosef Chayim... they're trying to get Chayim. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, not to try and get I'm not saying you were blaming Yosef I'm saying, but the fact that that was the focus, as you pointed out very well, it doesn't say that by Pari. Pari's like, oh, this guy's good. Shayim, he's good. That's it. He's, he's good. He's doing a good job. Chayim, Shmayim. He's a good, he's a good job. Yeah. Right? But here it's about Chayim. That, that's the root of the problem. Oh, you're Chayim, you're a charming guy. That's already a Shekhar kind of Mahal. It doesn't mean Yosef is involved. I don't know. You're saying the problem is that the reason is. Right. Because of the chain. Yeah. You shouldn't have done it for that reason. Right, very good. Okay. You shouldn't have focused on chain. Exactly, ignore the chain. Exactly, exactly. So he's already introducing chain into the into the into the equation, right? <coughs> Correct. You should have done it because I sh- because uh, yeah, well, he it's right. it's a very good point. You should have told him Achare that I see that you're so successful. Ain't chacham and avon kamoicha. Ata ti al basis. I guess it's exactly what Pari said. No, no, no. <laughs> he's good. I like him. <laughs> you like him? The shaykh said you like him. No, he's not right to be a king. Right. He was very good. Excellent. Excellent. I mean, he could have said Pari could have said him hanimtza because <coughs> not Pari. Sarah Mashkim should have said to his household hanimtza because such a good guy. He's going to be in charge of the house. No. Instead, he says, "I like this kid." Shaykh, you like this kid. Tomorrow you won't like him, you know? Yeah. Right? That's, that's the point. And that's this, also, the, I, I th- they make this point also about a David story, right? And he says, yeah. You have Ruach al Kim, you have no, you don't know how to You're Ishma, you're Ishma, you're, yeah, you're, right. and then you're a king, right? Because you're a king, you're exactly. a king, because you have. Exactly. You have exactly. But, but Yosef, like yeah. David, who takes this chain route at the beginning of the year. Right. Well, David was not trying to take the chain route. What? He was. That was not looking for the chaim. We don't know the yes was either. It right. doesn't matter. Yeah, what the is point the, is the problem. The chaim leads to problems, right? The same thing in the dove story. His chaim is very nice, very charming, but the problem is that 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 yeah, Shaul, That's why Shaul likes him. Shaul is going to end up turning into hatred. It could end up turning into hatred. Are you saying so? Why is he mixing in chaim here? Is that, mm-hmm. that the question? Yeah, yeah. Look so at maybe that. He, he found chaim. No, no. There was chaim in the because of Hashem Matzliach. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you need that for? Why is the chaim important? 
Why is because he's a because he's a ish mitzvah. If the tzar if the tzar tabach was a practical guy, I was no. looking for him the best steward of his household. So the fact that he's might the is completely relevant. It's not. It's but he's not. He's not. Oh, he's not. That's the point. He's a little bit shaker there because it's based on history, right? Mm-hmm. It's based on history. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> and he's not a king. Even Pari is a oh, mystery, but he's a king. It's a very simple thing to think. Right. Right, right. So he knows better. Very good. Right. Very simple thing to think. You if you're running a business, there's a guy there who actually does a good job. If you you say, don't look for the adversity. What? Adversity, inclusion. You don't look for that. You, what if, you don't look for someone he's 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 a black guy. Right. right. You don't look for The point is that you don't look for the king. Right. You also don't look for the king. You don't say, I like him. That, that's, what you like him is very subjective and, and, and right. allows for feelings. You also don't say, I don't like him because he's right. black. Exactly. Right. Right. You say, right. yeah. does he do the job well? Exactly. That's it. Right. Exactly. And then you'll have it as inclusive or exclusive exactly. as, as, as it happens to fall out. That's the right. point is, this is this is what that's it's right. about. Now, I wanted to talk about something else today, but maybe we'll leave it because I'll just be mocked. We'll talk about this again the next week. Okay, um, the, the, I just want to show you, let's see, how should we do this? Okay, I just want to show you, let, we'll start the conversation, but really we'll leave this for next week. In Pasik Dalit is Chaim, <coughs> and then in Pasik Kid is the Birch Hashem, and then Pasik Vav, which is a very hard Pasik to translate simply, what, what it means, but Yoda Ita in Umo, Ki in Alechem. What does that even mean? We'll get to that. I just want to point out those three points before we go, we always do everything straight and dry. I'm going to do that because I just wanted to point it out because I want to tell you something, put something all together. But uh, like I said, I don't think we'll go through the whole binion tonight. This is a whole different binion. I'll just start with one, one, one question here, a general question. Yosef gets in charge of the bread, right? Kima. Oh, no, I mean, not forget about Kima Lechem. Of course, the Lechem thing over here. Oh, you mean most, later? In general. Yosef had dreams about bread, right? About grain. Right, yeah. And then he becomes the, the, the shalit, and he's the one who gives out the, the lechem. Well, Great. Well, yeah. well, Ashbir, right. Everyone comes to Yosef, la lechem. Okay, so Yosef just becomes the, the bread guy, the grain guy. <laughs> so, I've got just a question. Is that, is important? What's the connection between lechem and chaloyim? In other words, the fact that it happened in dreams. <coughs> is that significant? It's a question, a general question. So, I want to show you two. Are you going to try phonetics on me? No, you give them prat. But I'm not going to try that, but there might be a connection. So I want to show you like this. I want to have a, have a stira between a pasuk in Mishle and a pasuk in Tzilah. In Mishle, if I chaf pasuk in Gimel, I can, I'll just tell you the pasuk. You know, find it if you want, but you don't have to. It's a beautiful pasuk. It says like this: Al tehav shein a penti barish. Don't love sleep because you might become impoverished. Chaf kid Gimel. Al tehav shein a penti barish. Don't love sleep lest you become impoverished. Pekach inecha sevalochem. Open your eyes and be satisfied with bread. So what's the pasuk saying? It's like this. If you don't get up in the morning, you like to sleep late, you don't get up to go to work, you're not going to have a job, you're not going to have panasa. All you have to do is open your eyes. It's half the battle. Open your eyes. Don't, don't stay in bed. If you stay in bed, you can get poor. All you got to do is, that's the key to, to, to svalachim. Open your eyes. Okay. Now, here's a pasuk, in, that's in Mishle, and, and here's another pasuk, the same author, actually, in Tehillim Kuk Chavzayim. Okay. Okay, fine. And then Pasuk Beis goes like this. It's, it's in vain. It's for nothing that you get up early, stay up late. Eat, you guys eat the bread of Atzavim. Get up early, stay up late, and you work. And that lechem is lechem ha'atzav. Remember, it's tzav and bechalem. Ken yite li'edida yishena. Hashem will give to the one he loves sleep. So you guys get up early, stay up late to work, and you're, you pack have bread, but it's lechem ha'atzav. And I can get the same thing but, and, and sleep. Because Hashem loves me. Hashem loves what's called yedidia. Pasuk says. Hashem sent to man a message. A message to call you did you because Hashem loves you. So basically, it's a stira. In Mishnah, it says, "Open your eyes. Don't love sleep because you become poor." But kachin nechas v'alechem. Here, Shlomo Melech says, "Sleep, no problem. You can sleep. You don't get up early. Don't get up late. Everything's gonna be fine." So the Teretz is, this is Shlomo speaking, and that's Shlomo ben David speaking. Okay, so this is Mishnah Shlomo ben David. And as you know, David Melech did not did not like sleep. Right, David Melech does not. And Shlomo Melech. It's 
back, not only was he late on the day of the Benamikdash, which he's sort of defending a little bit, Hashem built the house, what are you doing here? <laughs> but also, Hashem the best thing in his life happened to him when he was sleeping. He went to sleep, a regular guy, and he woke up to find his new head in the world. He didn't stay up late studying. It was <laughs> a dream, dream, too. It was a dream. Right, exactly. Go back to dreams. And back to dreams, exactly. So, 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 well, we, we're going to work this all next week. But remember that Pasuk initially, Birchus Hashem, he kasha, the lawyer is that's a That when you have the Birchus Hashem, then you do it without Etzev. So, Yosef also, how did he become Yosef? He dreamed, he uh, dreamt, right? So, that's the opposite of Etzev. Because he gets, he gets control of the bread, why? In, in the dream state. He, he, first, he has his dreams, and then, and then the whole thing. And uh, translate dreams. dreams. Right. Interpret, interpret, interpret the dreams. It's all over the dream world, right? Because <laughs> the dream world is, is the opposite of the Etzim world. It's great. The mind was you go to sleep. Like, Mishalai Mamel tells Shalai don't go to sleep. You're crazy? Of course I go to sleep. <laughs> the best things happen with them. Yosef also, the same thing. Which is, the point is that it's the anti Etzim, right? Because Etzim is getting up early. It's a hepech of Etzim. Yosef is, and, and the problem with the bread is the hepech de chalechem, and the chalechem, and Yosef conceptually is going to become, control that in Etzim. Deal with the best. There was the best of the son of the Chalana and the fact that things happen in dreams are very significant. But okay, we're going to bring that all together next week. Another question is, of course, what does that do with the woman in this? Yeah. Why is that so? Of course, Dovid being up, be, being up half the night had nothing to do with 